again everyone I'm back with another video for you today I want to talk you through how I clean my house <laughs> I'm true confessions I'm not the best housekeeper in the world I really struggle with it so I'm hoping this video will help me these videos that I'm going to the series that I'm going to start doing will help me as much as it helps you um, maybe even help me you know kick me along a little bit um, I've been working on a system I have a morning and an evening routine that I do um, that kind of sets me up for these weekly cleaning um, tasks but um, I, I don't clean my house all in one day I'm just not interested in that <laughs> those of you who do that I admire you I just don't have the gumption I just really don't so what I like to do is break it down and do something every day so on Mondays I'll start with my living room it's usually um, a pretty easy room to do because it's a small room and I try to keep it picked up anyway um, because it's the first room you see when you come in my house so I want to have it you know at least decent there are times that it's not in fact I'm gonna show you um, a clip of what it looked like looks like this morning looked looked like this morning I have already done some picking up um, so the first step that I will do is pick up everything tidy everything get everything ready for cleaning when I'm working on that I don't want to mess around with organizing things and folding blankets and putting things away that sort of I want to just get in there and get it clean and get done so I break down the cleaning into three different categories I guess you would say um, things that I do every week things that I do on a rotation which usually is about once a month and then um, deep cleaning which is um, something that I might do um, just depending on which task it is anywhere from two to six times times a year two to four times just depends on if it needs it uh, if something needs to be done with that um, so on Mondays I start with my living room in the hallway um, the hallway just leads back to the boys rooms and their bathroom um, our coats are in there um, there's a coat rack on the wall and um, that's really all that's in there so um, I include that in the living room so every week I will start by cleaning the glass um, dusting the the wood furniture and the electronics and the ceiling fan and the blinds um, cleaning the upholstered furniture the couches the chair um, and that might be either sweeping them off with my little um, handheld broom or vacuuming whichever they need right now I'm gonna vacuum today because Teddy's really shedding a lot so there's dog hair everywhere so I really need to vacuum it um, sweeping the floors uh, or vacuuming the floors a lot of times I find it much easier to just vacuum the hardwood and um, cleaning the pet bedding um, sweep uh, vacuuming that deodorizing that sometimes I'll wash it I usually wash it about once a month whenever I give bit a bath um, we don't really give Teddy a bath he's not really a dog that um, that smells bad um, he does shed but he doesn't smell bad and there's bit she's saying hey I don't smell bad yeah she does she sticks her whole head in the food so um, she smells um, <laughs> and then um, after sweeping or vacuuming I'll mop the floor and then I'm done with my every week stuff then um, after I finish those things I will choose one of these four things to do um, today I'm actually going to move out the couches and clean in behind them um, then the next uh, next week I will um, take down the globes from the ceiling fan and wash those and clean all the knickknacks now I'll dust the knickknacks with my little handy-dandy duster here as I go through cleaning the glass 
um, I, I dust my picture frames usually. Um, if they need Windexing, then I'll do that. I did, just did that last week. I always clean the glass uh, on the front door with Windex and a, or some sort of window cleaner because we have nose prints and fingerprints and things like that on it. Um, but typically I will just dust the knickknacks, but then there are times that you need to actually clean them, so I'll do that. And I don't have a lot of knickknacks, but um, they need cleaning. <laughs> um, then on the third week, I will uh, clean the blinds with um, a cleaner and a rag. Like I said earlier, I do dust them weekly, but really get in there and get them clean. Um, I'll dust the walls and get down any cobwebs, and then I'll uh, clean the front door, front and back. Um, and then the next week, I will uh, clean my bookshelves, remove everything off of those, and the canning jars um, shelf that I have in the living room, clean everything off of those, clean them out really well, dust the books, um, and... Um, replace them. If I need to cull any books, I'll do that then. Then my deep cleaning, um, just as these things need to be done, is when I'll do them. Um, we have a, a collectible shelf or a collectibles cabinet that has some special items from grandparents and parents. Um, so I'll, and that's behind glass. In fact, you can see it kind of right, right there, right here. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> Gosh, that looks huge. Like a giant's finger. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. I'm a little goofy. Um, so I'll clean all those things. Uh, we have some things on top that need to be cleaned. And I'll do that. Um, then inventory the canning, the home canned foods. Typically I'll only do that um, if... Um, I'm trying to decide what to plant in the spring um, or anything in the summertime if I need to know like how many jars of tomatoes do I have how many jars of pickles that kind of stuff so I'll know what I need to concentrate on when I'm doing my canning um, then another time I'll wash the curtains um, wash the walls uh, switch out the curtains if I want to put different decor up and then deep cleaning the upholstery um, depending on how the uh, manufacturers recommend cleaning that. Um, in the hallway, every week I will sweep and mop and uh, just dust the air vent. That's um, where our um, register return is, so I'll dust that. Monthly I'll replace the air filters in that. Um, and then as needed, I will take down the... Uh, the light fixture globe and wash that and go through the coat rack that I said is hanging up in there and wash the walls. Um, a lot of times I will dust the walls um, if they need it um, kind of as a, on a rotation type um, task but I like to get give the walls a good cleaning mm, two or three times a year. So that is how I take care of my living room. I'm not going to show you the hallway stuff today because um, I've already done that. <laughs> so I don't need to, to need to do that. Um, so I'm going to show you um, how I start cleaning the living room. And um, I'll speed through that so you don't have to watch a whole bunch of that. And uh, thank you so much. And I'll be back at the end.
Okay, so that's it. That's my cleaning routine um, for the living room that I do every week. Um, you, when I was uh, mopping, you did not see me do a thorough job. Um, the reason for that is uh, part of my evening routines uh, that I'll show you in another video is, later in the week is to um, vacuum and mop the floor in the living room again as it's needed. And at what I decided to do, because I'm running a little bit short of time, I've got an appointment soon, um, what I decided to do instead of doing a really thorough job where I pick up the rugs and all of that stuff, um, I decided that um, I'll just do that later and uh, move the furniture out and uh, usually what I do is get the kids to help me with that as part of their chores and while I'm clean moving the furniture and cleaning behind it they can be uh, vacuuming the rugs really well or um, <sighs> sweeping and you know the rest of the room and then so that's when we'll do a thorough vacuum and thorough mopping so that's what I do um, and I, I would show you the um, moving the furniture out but I kind of got off my routine during the holidays so I think it's been since before Thanksgiving that that's been done and I don't want to subject you to that horror uh, with all the dog hair uh, uh, there's just no telling there might be you know enough to make a another dog back there <laughs> who knows um, so I'm not gonna subject you to that that would be cruel and unusual um, and highly embarrassing so that's it. That's what I do to clean my living room every Monday in some fashion. And thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to doing the rest of these videos throughout the rest of the house. Um, it's going to be a few months down the road that all of them come up because I have other things uh, planned as well. So um, I hope you enjoy it. I enjoyed doing this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks so much for watching. Fly high Pooh Bear.